So let me introduce the panelists that are already here in the studio. We have Dr. Esther Moria, the Principal Secretary at TIVET, at the Ministry of Education. We have Charles Ringera, the CEO at the Higher Education Loans Board. Dr. Agnes Masiwa Home, who is the Chief Executive Officer at COOPS. And of course, we have Dr. Emmanuel Manyasa from Agenda Usawa. Oh, is it Usawa Agenda? <laughs> Great. And let, let's get a quick reaction to that story, Dr. Wahome, because uh, we're getting some voices of dissatisfied students with the courses that they were allocated. That student we just featured there got a name minus of 78 points, was hoping to get a science-based course, but eventually now she's going to study nutrition, diploma in nutrition at Kembu Institute of Science and Technology. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sam. Uh, let me first clarify that we don't have any useless courses uh, in our universities or in diploma uh, colleges. All programs are important, um, but we have situations. We actually had seven A minus students who um, made choices. You know, when we open the system, you can choose degree only, degree and diploma diploma and certificate and um, how the system works if you miss on your first choice it takes you to the second one mm -hmm. to the third to the fourth mm -hmm. if you had made choices on the uh, diploma and your degree and you miss all your four choices then it takes you now to your diploma choices so in this case um, of the student who was uh, who, who made the choice to do dentistry uh, with an A minus, unfortunately, with the capacities that we have in our universities, we have less than 50 uh, capacities for dentistry. Mm -hmm. So students who got uh, dentistry had straight A's, actually with a, a cluster weight of 43 mm -hmm. minimum, and this student had 40. Mm -hmm. So clearly, uh, with the choice of dentistry in the two, inst two only two uh, universities, then medicine as her third choice, um, and then nursing at UON, at the uh, fourth choice, there is no way she would have uh, made it in all this. So her next choices were in diploma. Okay. So diploma, she had the first choice as um, nutrition at Kiambu Institute. So it automatically takes you there. She but, still but, but, has but, an opportunity. Okay to pursue nursing. Of all the programs uh, she selected, uh, she can do nursing, but not at UON, because as a government-sponsored student, because the cutoff uh, at UON is high. So, uh, well, we, our officers are there to guide which other university had a, a lower cutoff uh, than what she got, because she has a cutoff of 40. But was this information known? Was there anyone guiding the students as they were making the choices? Uh, yes, um, we had our officers in all the counties. We have trained the Huduma centers, all the 52 Huduma centers countrywide. And then there's a step-by-step -step, um, you know, explanation. And before you check off, it tells you that you have selected programs <coughs> in the two categories. Do you still want to continue? Okay. And it says yes. We also had a student who had a straight A of 84 uh, points. Mm -hmm. And this student just didn't select, in, in, while in school, they selected degree and diploma. Then when we opened for revision, they removed all the degree programs and um, um, had the, just the, the uh, diploma. Right. But what we do with such, because these are outliers, like I say, A minus were about seven of them, A straight A was just one. Mm -hmm. So what we do every year, we reach out to them and we ask them, are you still sure that this is what you want to pursue? Okay. Of course, we are happy if they can take uh, CVET courses because they are also good. Okay. But we are just sure that um, last year we had a student who had a straight A who went for a certificate course. So they said they were, um, they were engaging with a computer for the first time. Right. Yeah, so you, we, we get such outliers. Okay. And that's why we also uh, provide an opportunity for transfer. We actually opened the system for one month and we see about 10% of the students 
making those transfers. Okay, all right. We want yeah. to take that break, but of course, stay tuned because we'll be talking about all those concerns about the university placement, what it means for the funding, because there's a different financing model, the new one that has been launched. We'll be seeing how that works. But also, we'll be looking at the education report, that is, education reforms from the Presidential Working Party, all that. Stay tuned, but you're back with more, including this.